update now coming from Fifth Ward. More groundwater testing is being done by Union Pacific and the EPA in the area impacted by the deadly cancer cluster. Fox 26's Sherman DeSell is breaking down this process moving forward. Yeah, we're looking at a six to eight month process for this and UP says they hope that this reaffirms their commitment to the area. Meanwhile, residents are just happy to see some work starting to get done. Can I jump up? <laughs> I'm happy. Longtime Fifth Ward resident Sandra Edwards reacts to seeing workers in her neighborhood digging holes in the ground. Okay. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and it's happening and I'm just glad to see it. Union Pacific began testing the groundwater near the former wood preserving work site to determine if chemicals that were used there like creosote are impacting neighbors. Vapor intrusion occurs when contaminants <laughs> evaporate off of the groundwater and have the potential to uh, migrate into indoor homes or uh, or indoor in, indoor air into buildings or homes. When we come in and take that sample, if there is contamination in Mr. Jones's yard, and if that contamination is is posing a an exposure. The work plan is approved by the EPA and also includes collecting samples from the soil, gas, outdoor air, drains and sewers. Region 6 says they're setting up a local field office for residents nearby. The railroad company states testing done in this area in 2020 found no significant health risk for the site. I had a mammogram done last week and it came back not good. So I'm not claiming anything in Jesus name. I'm going to be OK. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying on that and I'm striving for that, but it's still happening. People are still getting sick out here and dying. So the process we saw today will take about a month to complete. The uh, testing should be completed by spring 2024. Then the EPA will take those results and determine what next steps should be made out here in this area. Reporting from Fifth Ward, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News.